Hi everyone, so uh, I just wanted to go through chapter 12 and connect. Number 12, it is the um, claim form for workers' comp. So we'll go through this really quickly. It should only take a few minutes. You should be fairly familiar at this point with how these claim forms work. Um, they're essentially the same information that we're going to um, glean from all of the different uh, insurance companies and, and put them on the claim form. So we'll start with this at the top, the provider. Let's look here. Uh, there we go. Physician's information name, Nicole Gary, MD. I'm going to copy and paste that. Put that down there. Copy, paste, that there. Billing provider is primary identifier. There is the primary identifier there. I'm going to do that. And paste. The patient's name. I'm going to copy and paste. The relationship to the, it's workman's comp, so the relationship is going to be other. The workman's comp claim number, let's check here, workman's comp claim number. Again, I suggest copying and pasting so that you don't have any um, typos there. The plan number. There's the group. Let's copy and paste that and put it where it's got to go. Right here in plan. That's the name of the plan. And then the group number. B6. All right. So that we got all that information there. And um, the... Accident cause doesn't look like, according to this information up here, um, patient stated that on Wednesday afternoon, June 16, 2012, a container of buttercream frosting fell from the shelf as she entered the pantry and hit her right shoulder. So that is not a cause of um, accident as a result of auto accident, another responsible party, employment related, all that business. So um, we would check there that it was an employment um, related accident. However, it doesn't allow you to do that. So just know that for your own, I guess, intents and purposes. Okay, so um, the date is, patient stated that on Wednesday, June 16th, 2012. Don't be confused. I don't know why it's different than 2016 here. I think they update this annually and forgot to update that information. So we are going to put in, copy, paste is the date of service and paste all right um procedure codes you will not know so i will give you those those procedure codes are going to be 99202 comma and then also 73020 and that's going to cover the visit and which is the office visit level two and then the shoulder x-ray with one view the diagnosis code is going to be s43.004 and that is going to give you the right shoulder dislocation diagnosis i'm just saving you the hassle of going to ic10 data and looking it up and then the total charges are going to be 153. Put the dollar sign. I forgot the stupid thing. Put the dollar sign. Okay, $153 in there, and that's going to be the 85 and the 68 together that we see here. Okay, so we'll put all that in there. Check my work. Hopefully, it's good to go. Good to go. Good to go. And we're perfect. All right, so that's it for um, chapter 12, number 12. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks, guys.